You wake up. You're a little bit late because your Hello Kitty alarm clock didn't go off on time. That's okay. We go to the bathroom. You brush your teeth with your Hello Kitty toothbrush and you go to the kitchen. Your Hello Kitty kitchen. You grab your Hello Kitty toaster and your Hello Kitty Pop-Tarts and you have your breakfast. After breakfast, you realize you're still running a little bit late and so you quickly run into your Hello Kitty shower. In your Hello Kitty shower, you wash your hair with Hello Kitty shampoo, Hello Kitty conditioner, you wash off your body with some Hello Kitty soap, you dry off with your Hello Kitty towel, and then you do some Hello Kitty skincare. You grab your Hello Kitty toner, your Hello Kitty moisturizer, your Hello Kitty serum, you grab your Hello Kitty lip balm, and you do your skincare. Still got some dryness going on, so you grab your Hello Kitty hand cream, and you rub that on top. It's time to get dressed. You get dressed from head to toe, putting on your Hello Kitty hat, your Hello Kitty earbuds, your Hello Kitty necklace, your Hello Kitty shirt, your Hello Kitty watch, your Hello Kitty pants, your Hello Kitty sneakers, or Crocs today. I can't decide. Now that you're ready for work, you head to the office. What's in your bag? You have your Hello Kitty pens and pencils, you have your Hello Kitty erasers, you have your Hello Kitty notebooks, you even have your Hello Kitty staplers, and just in case you need to look extra professional, you have your Hello Kitty themed Kaviko. Now if you thought that was ridiculous, you have no idea how many Sanrio and specifically Hello Kitty themed items there actually are, or even how many most people probably have. Basically anything that you can eat and anything you could eat off of or even cook with has a Hello Kitty version. You have a Hello Kitty coffee maker, sort of like a Keurig. You have coffee mugs and warmers, so many mugs. Sandwich presses and waffle makers. You have a slow cooker, you have Pyrex dishes that I guess you could bake out of if you really wanted to. You have any type of utensil set. You have bowls and bento boxes, chopsticks, plates, pitchers and glasses. Oh my goodness, there's no end. It's almost impossible to find a company as not collaborated with Sanrio. Because there's just so many, it's so overwhelming, I had to break it down into subject categories just to make it a little bit more palatable. What's really funny about specifically the Hello Kitty Creme Shop collaboration is that they've also collaborated with BT21 with Hello Kitty in the same set. It doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know why they did this, but it's really cute. It's sort of interesting finding this this barrier between what was previously seen as more adult hobbies and tasks with this younger face and younger generation. Generally, most things that are Hello Kitty themed are either for children or for adults with children, but the creme shop melds those two ideas together. There's plenty of skincare and makeup that's friendly for everybody, and it's sort of neat. There's even some very high quality jewelry with Hello Kitty, such as the Chow Tai Fook collaboration, where most of the pieces are over $600. <laughs> G-Shocks, Casios, and even Seikos. There's even Hello Kitty Flick Flacks, which make a lot more sense than the Seikos since Flick Flacks are for kids. One of the most interesting collaborations, in my opinion, is the Attack on Titan and Hello Kitty collaboration. I don't see how those two audiences meld. That doesn't make any sense. 
Hello Kitty even collaborates with Nissan for Top Ramen and Cup Noodle themed products. Hello Kitty even collaborated with Pac-Man. There's no shortage of the Hello Kitty and Pushin collaborations as well. Most box stores will have some type of Hello Kitty themed apparel. There's even a Hello Kitty Akira themed shirt. There's also a Kid Robot Hello Kitty Tokyo Speed Jacket. The category that makes the most sense, of course, would be toys and electronics, since Hello Kitty is a very childlike figure. There's Hello Kitty Hot Wheels, there's Hello Kitty Tamagotchis. Of course, now there's a Hello Kitty Popper toy. Just in case you want to make your gaming setup cute too, you can also get a Hello Kitty chair, Hello Kitty headset, mouse pads, mice, and if you play games like Animal Crossing, you'll know that there are Hello Kitty collaborations with that too. You can buy little amiibo cards that will let you play with that character and even collect their Hello Kitty themed furniture. One of my favorite things is the Hello Kitty Gundam. Hilarious! What is that? <laughs> Any tabletop game, you can of course make Hello Kitty. There's Hello Kitty Monopoly, Hello Kitty themed Yahtzee. There are card decks and dice, you name it. If you're sending your kid off to school, you could always give them some Hello Kitty pencils and erasers. There's even some nicer pens and nicer notebooks. There is a Kaviko collaboration with Hello Kitty, so that's that's a quality pen. I, that's a nice fountain pen. There's moleskin collaboration, and there's pen cases and small bags to keep all these goodies in. All of the Hello Kitty stationery is also really easy to find, especially at places like Diaso and Miniso, and that's where I like to get mine. There's a couple of stranger items that don't quite fit into any category. There are Hello Kitty air fresheners for your car. There are Hello Kitty spin mops. Hello Kitty dog tents, sewing machines, and even a little McDonald's fries and drink holder and a Hello Kitty popcorn maker. This is just a tiny fraction of all of the Sanrio items there are. I couldn't possibly find all of them or go through all of them. Most of these items are what's available in the US. I don't even know everything that's available in Japan. I couldn't even imagine it. There are multiple Hello Kitty cafes in North America. Two of them actually roam around throughout the country. One of them is permanently parked in Las Vegas, and I actually got a zebra mocha and this Karopi donut from it. The trucks have exclusive merchandise and inventory to pair with delicious snacks and drinks. I would definitely check to make sure that you're not missing out if they're coming anywhere near you. Even though it's not on wheels, there is a grand cafe in Irvine, California, but has a larger menu. There is also Sanrio Puro Land. This is a Sanrio theme park. There's a buffet style restaurant, mascots that greet you and put on a show, exclusive crane games, gachapon. There's also a massive shop full of snacks and merchandise and so much more. There's only one Pearl Land, so you have to go to Japan for it. Although if you find yourself in LA, there is a Sanrio store in Little Tokyo that has a lot of little gifts and trinkets. I, I do have to say I am a diehard Sanrio fan myself. And the beginning of the video wasn't actually too far off from just kind of how I am. Obviously, you can see there's proof. I've been collecting things from Sanrio since I was about four years old. I think that was when my mom got me my first Sanrio item. And it was a lunchbox. And it was my favorite thing ever. And it still is. I need to find it. I love it.
there any items that you had growing up or you've seen that are Hello Kitty themed or even just Sanrio in general? I'd love to know. There's just so many and it's so fun looking through them. And with that, thanks for watching.